Honor Magic 6 Pro versus the Vivo X100 Pro that I have here in my hands and it's auto focusing because on the front facing camera of the Honor Magic 5 Pro we have autofocus but sadly you saw it in the title 4K 60 but this looks like 4K 30 yes because the Honor Magic 6 Pro can only handle 4K 30 on the front facing camera that's sad but yeah, at least it has 4K. So what do you think about this quality here? Let's compare it with the Vivo X100 Pro. And yes, the Vivo X100 Pro has 4K 60 frames per second recording on the front facing camera, which is phenomenal. And the cool thing is, now I got the news that even the global version got this new update for 4K 30 and 4K 60 on the front facing camera, which is, I think, super, super cool news and well done, Vivo. Yeah, talking about everyone is waiting probably for my camera review, this one here against the Honor Magic 6 Pro. But you have to wait a little bit longer because uh, I'm first doing this one against its predecessor and then against the Xiaomi 14 and then against the Mate 60 Pro and so on. But maybe this kind of yeah, prioritization has something to do with what I think about this one here and its camera performance. Nevertheless, you can see the camera performance here on the Vivo X100 Pro. The cool thing is this Vivo has the ability to switch to the back facing cameras, though only only when you record 4K 30. We're recording 4K 60 right now, so that is not possible. Talking about the back facing cameras, let's check them out. 4K 60 recording now on the main camera system of the Honor Magic 6 Pro. Walking towards the sun, sun shining on my face. This is why I'm making such a stupid face. Um, as usual <laughs> and uh, yeah the cool thing here about everyone is asking me Magic 6 Pro did you get the newest update yes I got the newest update and yes the new camera comparison the first camera comparison including the Magic 6 Pro against the Magic 5 Pro will include also the newest update so the newest camera software there as well we have variable aperture here on the magic 6 pro what i noticed is during daytime most of the time it is sticking to f2 instead of f1.4 we know this already from a huawei mate series that also has variable aperture and also usually has f2 so get a little bit of sharper not so shallow depth of field but nevertheless i thought uh, i share a little bit of stuff that i discovered with the mate uh, with the mate with the magic 6 pro even if i zoom out a little bit here 4k 60 of course i can go to the ultra wide angle what do you think about this one here stabilization colors and so on it's softer the image is softer not so way over sharpened like it was on the magic 5 pro or the magic 4 ultimate where it was like a little bit too over sharpened especially on the face region there we have a bit of a softer image and this leads to a bit of yeah, better softer bokeh there as well. You don't see it here on the ultra wide angle, but nevertheless, it is there, believe me. So what we want to do right now is check out also the zoom capabilities of this 180 megapixel zoom camera. So let's go and zoom in on my favorite bridge. Yeah, I know the sun is like shining directly probably onto the lens. I can go directly to 6, 2.6 times, which is like a slight crop there. And using the telezoom lens here, 180 megapixels, and I can zoom in to this is five times now, and maximum is 10 times. So what do you think about the quality here on the Magic 6 Pro? So now recording with the Vivo X100 Pro in this yeah, tricky kind of sun situation. What you noticed on the Magic 6 Pro as well is that they finally fixed the color issues that you had, especially with HDR and the sun shining directly on my face and getting a red face or completely white face or some weird things there. How is it here on the Vivo X100 Pro? Does it handle my face color correctly? 4K 60 frames per second is uh, working on all lenses, as you saw on the Magic 6 Pro. And also the Vivo X100 Pro has this feature as well. Um, quite interesting is that I didn't get a new update for the Vivo X100 Pro. I was expecting maybe to get a new update because this is usually like one month time frame where you expect a new update for the Vivo device, but probably they're working on the global version and maybe even the X100 Pro Plus or Ultimate uh, edition of the phone. Uh, 4K 60 frames per second, so of course I have the possibility to zoom out to the ultra wide angle, but before we do this, check out the bokeh in the background, check out the blue in the sky and check out the sharpness on my face. I think the Vivo X100 Pro has a bit over sharpened my face in comparison to the Magic 6 Pro, but what do you think? Let's go and check out the ultra wide angle. So there's the ultra wide angle. How wide is this one here? Is it wide enough in comparison to the Magic 6 Pro? I think it's a bit narrower here. 
um, 15 millimeter, I think, then uh, or 16 millimeter instead of uh, 13 millimeter that we have on the Magic 6 Pro. Nevertheless, what do you think about stabilization colors and so on? Um, I will also blend in and do a side by side because I don't want to do an analysis here. It's just taking too much time for me, and you see that uh, I'm barely slept. <laughs> so. Um, I will do a side by side so you can see side by side how it will look like uh, in, in, in this uh, window here and then I will go to full screen again so you get like the full screen experience. And now we are I think at the point where I should start the zoom test. So let's try to zoom in on the favorite bridge there. So let's go to 4.3 times zoom immediately and there we go. Some issues with the zoom. I had to Go somewhere else first for uh, with the focus and for the focus to work now let's go to five times there we go five times zoom on screen it looks a bit more punchy more dark more contrasty and let's go to 10 times which is also the maximum 10 times stay at 10 times maximum zoom here on the vivo x100 pro so blend in now the honor magic 6 pro right next to it so you can take a look at how it looks like and how it compares how good is stabilization between those two yeah what do you think about the performance here on the vivox 100 pro and the honor magic 6 pro let's go back to the main nice smooth animation this is what i really like about vivo and we will turn around and do a little bit of hdr test with the sun in the background and um, in a minute i will also or in a second i will also uh, have the magic 6 pro out autofocus test should work fine as well on the main camera sensor no issue and uh, what i want to talk about is uh, testing testing like i said i will be testing the vivo x100 pro against the magic 6 pro at one point as well but it will take some time and i'm also expecting the xiaomi 14 ultra to arrive so maybe i will prioritize uh, this instead of this because i'm just one person doing all the tests and it's not my main job here so it's just uh, weekends basically and after work i have time to do this so what do you think about the quality here and uh, yeah first of all the magic 6 pro will be tested against the magic 5 pro to see what kind of big differences we have if you are interested in my ranking and you know the url i will put it down below there as well you will have a spoiler already because you can see the ranking there for the magic 6 pro already but keep in mind there's a temporary ranking because i only compared it with one device only and of course, if I compare it with more devices, I will refine the ranking system a little bit, refine the, not the ranking system, refine the rank of the Magic 6 Pro a little bit more. What I noticed in this situation is uh, that if you vlog with the main camera sensor and the sun is coming from behind, that this little mirror-like finish around the camera bump is like blending me because it's like reflecting the sun directly into my eyes. And this is um, not so pleasant, I would say. This looking somewhere else otherwise i get blind uh, so yeah this is what you have to keep in mind otherwise the magic 6 pro doesn't have a full glass there on top of the three lenses but each lens has its own glass so this copes with or helps with the reflection issue that we had with the magic 5 pro and we don't gladly don't have this with the magic 6 pro and i think the uh, reflecting uh, mirror like finish ring around it also should help with the reflections and um, yeah issues that we had with the magic 5 pro here the magic 6 pro i think the performance is quite good what do you think about the performance here on the magic 6 pro against the vivo x100 pro like i said more comparisons will be coming but Keep in mind, I'm only one person and uh, yeah, I have many requests and many other devices to test out. So that's it for this um, short little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.